study the slope of a line between two ordered pairs. I've got on the rectangular coordinate system in the first quadrant two ordered pairs, and I'd like to determine what the slope of that line is. And I'd like to focus in this segment about on whether or not the slope is positive or whether or not it is negative, and I'd like to define the idea of slope. So first of all, we define slope by the letter M, and it is defined as the rise over the run of a line, or many people will say the change in Y over the change in X. That's a Greek symbol called delta, and it represents the change in Y over the change in X. And finally, another way we represent the slope of a line is by saying take the Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. So that's in two ordered pairs. Take their Y values and subtract them, and then divide by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We'll focus on that in a minute. I may not do that particular piece in this particular problem. Let's just talk about, for this problem, rise over run, or the change in y over the change in x. So if I start with this ordered pair, to get from this point to this point, it looks like I have to rise two points and that I have to run horizontally a distance of a positive 4. And so it looks like the slope of this line, which here's the actual line that I'm, I'm looking at, it looks like the slope of this line, its rise is 2, when its run is 4, or this particular line has a slope of 1 half. So one of the ways that I can find the slope of a line is to graph the ordered pairs, and then look at the change in y over the change in x. Let's look at another couple of ordered pairs. So say I were to use this ordered pair, where x is a negative 3 and y is a positive 2, and this ordered pair, where x is 2 and y is a negative 4. Um, the line itself looks like this. And I want to determine what the change in y over the change in x is. I can either start from this ordered pair and go in the y direction to, to this point right here. So I would go down to this. Oops, I'm sorry, I went a little bit too far. So go down to that point right there. And then run over that way. So let's just look at that. I have gone, in the y direction, I've gone down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in the rise direction, I've gone down 6. And then in the run direction, the horizontal direction, in the x direction, the change in x, I've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a positive 5 units. The slope of this line is a negative 6 over a positive 5. I did not have to start with this ordered pair and find my change in y over my change in x in that direction, I could have gone from this ordered pair up a positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I could have gone up 6, and then my run would be to the left 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so a negative 5. So the slope of that line would have been a positive 6 over a negative 5. And so the bottom line is, I just need you to see that this has is a negatively sloping line and that my sign can be in the numerator or in the denominator or sometimes we'll just put that sign in front of that fraction. That means that I've got a negative slope. Let's now take a look at a couple of ordered pairs and actually calculate the slope via the formula. So let's use... Um, x is 5 and y is 3, so that's right here, and let's use x is a negative 3 and y is a negative 4. So let's use those ordered pairs. So first of all, here is the line itself, and I know that from here I'm going to go up to this point, so up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so I'm going to go up 7, and then I'm going to go to the right, positive right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to run 8 units. So it looks like the slope of this line is 7 over 8. However, in case I don't want to bother with graphing, 
I do also know that slope can be defined. I think what I'm going to do, slope can be, be defined as taking y sub 2 minus y sub 1, subtracting them, and dividing by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. These subscripts mean take the y value in the second ordered pair and subtract the y value in the first ordered pair. You know, which one's the second and which one's the first? It doesn't matter. You decide. So if you decide to call that the second ordered pair, then the y value is 3. So you would take 3 and subtract the y value in this ordered pair, so you're subtracting a negative 4. If you make this one the second ordered pair, then in the denominator you've got to use this value first, because you're calling that x sub 2, and then you've got to subtract that negative 3. And when you subtract a negative number, remember that you add the opposite. And so in the numerator I have a positive 7, and 5 minus a negative 3 is 5 plus 3, and I do get that slope of a positive 7 over 8. Just one time I'm going to share with you that I don't have to choose that to be my second ordered pair. I could have made this my second ordered pair and this my first one. If that's the case, I would take negative 4 as y sub 2 and I would subtract that positive 3. If I started here as my second ordered pair, now I would have to use my x value here, a negative 3, and subtract my x value right there. And what I get, therefore, is a negative 7 in the numerator and a negative 8 in the denominator. And we know that a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So I still get a slope of a positive 7 eighths. You can calculate slope. You pick which one is the second ordered pair and which one is the first ordered pair and subtract accordingly. Um, let's see, finally, if I wanted to find the slope and I'm not going to need to use the rectangular coordinate system, but I'll leave it turned on for right now. In a road, so here's a, an example of a road that has um, a horizontal distance and a vertical rise because this is, we'll just look at this as a, an upward grade. And I want to find what's called its rate of change, or again, its slope the slope of this line right here, then what I'm looking at is the change in the y value, the 921, divided by the change in the x value, the 13,740. And when I divide this out, hopefully I've done it, I have um, 0.067, and I just chose to round that off there. What that means is, if I were to turn this into a percentage, remember when you turn it into a percentage, you multiply by 100. I have a 6.7% grade for that road. You often see, um, if you're driving in, in a hilly area, um, Smoky Mountains, um, in Indiana there's some hilly areas, the Rocky Mountains, you'll see um, grade signs that say caution, 7% grade. That's this rate of change. That's the slope of the line. Um, very important topic for our, our everyday use. Very good.